All right, boys. Connecting my brother's generator to his house. But he has no room in the breaker. So we're gonna have to pull one of these out, which is for the electric heat, which he won't use anymore. We'll cap it off inside. We'll run this heavy 10 wire in to the plug. Waterproof wire. Plug will be outside. It'll be like this. This way he'll just plug his generator right in there. Shut off the main breaker. He'll be able to run when there's no power. Out here in Pennsylvania, we get a lot of trouble with that. Now, on the back here, the uh, X and Y, see? X and Y is the red and the black. And the W is, of course, white, and the ground will get grounded to there. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, see what I did there? X doesn't matter with the black and the white. X and Y doesn't need the ground goes to the box. See how nice and neat it looks? Nice and neat. All right, we go inside. We'll find a breaker here that we can use. All right, be back here. All right, see I installed the uh, 30 amp breaker. I piggybacked it because you don't have no room. Later on, we're gonna put a bigger panel in. So, these here, these two wires, the white one and the black one here, are going to his water pump for the septic. Then this red and this black is for his uh, generator, the power coming in from the generator. All right, you hook your neutral up to the neutral block and the ground to the ground block. Over here, neutral, they're both neutrals, doesn't matter. We started the generator up, ran the cord to it, everything works fine. Here's the cord you'll need, plugs into the outside. Everything works fine, it'll be good for the storm. Alright, like and subscribe. Alright boys, power in the whole house. There we go. Got the cord going in. I'm bringing this video back to show you because uh, my brother wanted just to see it running. But the whole house is on, see it? Nice. Look at that generator. Good generator. Harbor Freight Tools, $5.99. Nice. Strong, powerful.